I got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma when I was 25 years old and I got to the stage where three different types of chemo had failed and if I didn't do a stem cell transplant it was my cancer was deemed incurable. They weren't sure I would even make it the weeks that were left to radiotherapy to shrink the mass in my chest that was 21 centimetres. So I really was sitting right in the point of life or death when I arrived. I, I, I'd done so many things that when I saw the workshop, I was like, do I do another thing? You know, oh, I'm so bored of learning modalities. And blah, blah, blah. But I had a very somatic first-hand experience on that day where Tara was guiding us into the different stages of the I love you me method. And we'd reached, I think, sort of the belly, the sacral area. And I remember just dropping into that space and it felt like the very first time. And there was something and someone there, a me there, that was like, I've never been seen. And it was the most incredible real time soul retrieval. And I just felt like the, the tears and the emotion welled up. I barely felt much emotion on the whole journey. It had been very conceptual, my healing. And I felt this little girl come alive and feel so seen. And I felt something rush up my body and something release and something open up that I wouldn't be able to close now that I'd opened it. And I knew in that moment that that was, that was the pathway to healing on the physical level. I, I think I left the event, I was like super buzzed and I felt so alive because that's what this medicine is. It gives you, wherever you've been stagnant or wherever you've been shut down or coping or masking it, for better or worse in the short term, it brings it up and you, you feel completely alive um, in the truth of what's needed to heal and you feel like it's possible to heal and you know, you know, if you can, if you can apply this medicine that anything is possible. I was like, ah, I can feel something. I can feel a tangible way to how I'm going to heal this. And I just knew, yeah, I committed that day to do the training and I put down the money and yeah, I remember going home to my friend I was living with and he was like, you've changed. <laughs> he was like, you're a different person. Yeah, so it was real. And yeah, I did find my path to healing from within, from that moment. Many traumatic things happened in my childhood and I had had an experience of severe taking on the role of the black sheep, really taking on everybody else's pain, believing I was evil, believing I didn't deserve life. And I think that was the thing I really got to, the nucleus, was that there is a really, there's a really a part of me that I never in a million years would have known was there because I was very upbeat and positive um, and that I somewhere deep down I didn't feel like I deserved to live and that was wild kind of getting to that point during the training and hearing myself say that and from that place I was really able to hold that little girl and really hear her and start to be her mother, her father, her parent, and every one that she needed, that she didn't get growing up in those moments, um, I started to be able to be that protector and that voice and that nurturer. And I could just feel this, like almost like this quantum collapse where her and I started to become one. And anywhere that I had perhaps shoved her down or like, it, it honestly almost felt like she was living in that part of my chest where I had this mass and that I hadn't been allowing her. And as I started to ha have a relationship with her and she started to come into my field as in my awareness as someone so valuable that needed listening to and needed my love, the mass was reversing at the same time and um, ended up having the most rapid a uh, complete reversal of cancer during the time that I was applying this process and you know also opened me up to so many other people and things that could show me the new found worth that I was and the support that all came in suddenly the how revealed itself through starting this conversation with this inner child and yeah that really 
was a very weird, rapid four months of complete reversal of my cancer. My chemo nurse, right at the beginning, he did later on um, also sign up to do the training and got so much from it. And I thought that was just what an incredible, when does that happen? I, it was amazing. After doing the I Love You Me training, my life on the outside started to dramatically change. I was writing an album at the time, I'm a singer, I was writing songs that were my own medicine to come home. And I'd already written these songs, but during the I Love You Me training, I think I was really bringing them alive. I'd gone to record them. And it was, opportunities were opening up in my life to be my own medicine through my dreams, through my career, through being a singer. I was finding myself on stage as giving talks, um, despite being on the edge of death, I felt more alive than ever. Um, <laughs> and you know, it's not all like sunshine, lollipops and rainbows. I was feeling a lot. I was grieving and getting in touch with anger and fear that I'd never got in touch with. But contrary to how you might think that that, that wouldn't be a good thing, actually it was so welcomed compared to living in resistance, having those things show up in shadow and coming back at me from the outside. It was like I was doing the work, I was going into the dark places, I was being really honest with myself and it was really beautiful the way life started to show back to me like anything's possible, you deserve to live, you're going to get through this, um, you've made a decision that you deserve to live and that you can heal this from within and it all just kind of started to reveal itself. My body and my cells were receiving the love and I could feel that that area where I had this tumour was like drinking it up. <laughs> and whereas before I felt like it was like this dense, scary ball that I didn't want to go anywhere near and I just wanted to heal it away and, you know, like up here, whereas I could now actually fully reside inside of it. And it felt scary, but I felt safe enough through the method to like hold myself there. And I could feel, I could feel it breaking down. I could feel that the more I brought the harmony and the, oh, it's okay. And the love and I accept you. I'm not fighting you. I'm not cancer, you know, it's like, actually, you're really here, like communicating with me. You deserve love, whatever it is that, however you got here, like, you're part of me right now and I'm gonna sit here with you and untangle this web of untruth that we've taken on. And as I did that, I would literally feel, feel warmth there and I'd feel rushes of energy coming up my body and I'd feel like these expansive, like, I don't know, energetic, like, like yeah, energy, <laughs> like moving. And the more I went down this path, I would have like these spontaneous experiences where I'd be sitting on my bed and suddenly this area would just explode with a sensation of love or release. Uh, like I could just feel something physically was happening. I'd love to see underneath an MRI what was happening in those moments because yeah, it was like my cells were rebalancing, they were realigning, they were breaking down. It was like all of the T cells in my body listened to my instructions um, that we're loving ourselves now. And it was like, they, they all went, okay, we know what to do. I could literally feel that happening. And it happened really fast. It was like a whole death to my old self and my body just knew what to do. That was like three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. They thought it would come back immediately. Um, <laughs> I got pregnant, I think, two months after that clear scan and I was deemed infertile as well. So whatever alchemy I'd done on my body, restoring the harmony in my cells and reversing the cancer had also restored fertility in my body, which is wild and yet makes so much sense to me now, <laughs> now that I've been on this path long enough to get how it works. So yeah, from when I first sat in that I Love You Me seminar. It was March 2018. So I'd literally just finished um, medical treatment. They weren't expecting necessarily a cure. It was a very, very dire prognosis. And then went to the I Love You Me workshop, 
So it was really powerful the time I found it. And then um, I did the training in April and I got my first scan results in June and the, the results showed that, that I was in remission within, so that's what, within four months. And, you know, even then the doctors are like, oh, it's just an anomaly and for some reason it's just reversed. And it's like, I know why it's reversed. <laughs> so from having a 21 centimetre tumour in my chest at the point I came to I Love You Me in March 2018, in that period between March and June, when I got my scan result, the tumour had not only reversed from 21 centimetres down to 8 centimetres, but it was now a benign mass, so I was in remission. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdly, like, it felt amazing, and and there's a lot, there's a lot to integrate when you do this level of quantum healing, and it's like, yeah, it's... It's a, it is a journey that carries on, but you have the tools then to always bring yourself back and continue that inner healing, which opens up all these new places. As I said, I got pregnant two weeks up, two months after that second clear scan. I actually met my partner at Tara's seminar, another one of Tara's seminars. <laughs> so that's kind of wild. <laughs> Expect the unexpected on this journey, expect the impossible to be made possible and dreams that you didn't even consider could ever happen to very much happen <laughs> in ways you never imagined. There's a lot of modalities out there and I think I Love You Me was the most powerful direct modality between you and yourself alone that becomes the key to opening up all of that potential, those miracles, those places that you never were able to access before that kind of welcomes in everything you deserve and all of the truth of who you really are. Um, it absolutely is, is, is a huge key to, yeah, your transformation, your dreams, your, your undoing and your, re your becoming, <laughs> your true becoming. I will always use that knowledge and that modality forever because it saved my life um it's something that the world needs it's something that other people need to know for themselves and i think it's just such a direct process so that's what makes it different it's not you're not getting it from anybody else it gives you the the tools and the map to really go in there yourself and completely radically transform whatever's needs your attention from the inside out and I just think it's a really safe way to to do that journey and to unlock the stuff that feels uncomfortable and icky and um that you've always felt too scared or whatever to face um it makes it safe it makes it possible and it, it carries you through to the new beginning and the the gift that's hiding in the shadow I'd absolutely recommend I Love You Me for any therapist or healer or coach, anyone who's in that kind of well-being industry. Um, because again, it's it's so it's so autonomous, it's so um, available to the individual to use for themselves anytime. So you don't have to constantly rely on anybody outside of yourself or have therapy sessions forever or whatever you can really you can teach this to other people so that they can really understand how they become their own therapist and they become their own um healer and i think yeah for for, for healers and coaches and therapists themselves to integrate i love you me into their practice it can only super like enrich in your client's experience because it's it's not just of the mind, it's somatic, and it takes your clients into a real embodied experience of what they need to feel and see. It's a first-hand revelation to sign up and do that training and learn self-love through this beautiful modality it was absolutely an amazing and life-saving decision and like one of the best things I could have ever gifted myself absolutely the best thing I ever did and yeah I would fu fully recommend it um the investment 
you know, you, you can't put a price on like having that for life. And Tara's, Tara's knowledge and wisdom is unparalleled in self-love, in really living it and walking it and understanding. I just think it's really important to invest in mentors that that do walk the talk and do realise that it's a real life thing that we're doing together. <laughs> it's not someone going, I've got the answer, here you go. It's somebody who really understands um, this journey and can really hold a beautiful, safe space. I was training to also be a facilitator of others and although I was on my wild cancer journey at the time I so I decided to wait at least a year before I um, started to do my case studies when I did my case studies they were so amazing I was very surprised with how actually I didn't need to do much most of it was getting out of my own way and letting I love you me really um, use me as the vessel and you know bring bring my flavor of that but just to trust the the process and I think the feedback I got from clients I'd be there thinking oh am I doing it right or whatever and they'd just be like well that was the most incredible session I've ever had in my life and I'd be pregnant as well and I'm like, like the baby was kicking during um sessions every time we hit on something and it was really beautiful um I'm just really surprised and humbled by how the system and the steps it's designed like do all the work and, and you can just see the clients like having these real time breakthroughs and you're thinking wow I just had to get out of the way because this thing is you know Tara will tell you she's channeled it and it really is straight from source <laughs> it's amazing like honestly the miracles that happened back to back after taking that journey were just yeah Something you couldn't imagine, um, really amazing.